Hey guys, it's Michelle. I wanted to do a video for items I've used up, so this is going to be number two in this little series, I guess, is what we're going to call them. Um, because a lot of you messaged me saying that you liked this video, so I figured I would do another one. Anyway, I'm going to start with my candles. First one, oh. I poured water in this afterwards to try to loosen it up while it was still uh, warm, and it didn't work. It just turned into a nasty mess. But this is the Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin. It's got a really awesome smell. Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin. Um, I have a couple more of these little guys that I will be burning. But I tried that one out and it was really good. I liked that one. Next, this one I haven't had a chance to clean. But I burned two of these. I've gone through two. These came from Walgreens and I got them last year on clearance for $2.49. I don't know if you can see the price. Probably not. But it was $2.49. I think these run like 10 or 15 bucks. But um, it's Patriot Candles. This was a limited edition. Like I said, I'm sorry it's a mess, but I haven't had a chance to clean it like I normally do. It's a limited edition, and this was in Fall Harvest, which was blackberry, coriander, pumpkin bread, and sweet maple. This was really great. I liked how, I like these layered candles because you get a little different scent like as it burns down. I think the maple and the pumpkin were my favorite, but the blueberry or the blackberry, when you start with the blackberry, it was a really nice, warm, almost like a cobbler smell. And then as it goes down through the layers, really great. And for the price, I mean, it's a huge candle. I couldn't go wrong with that, so I stocked up on these. And I also got holiday ones, which I'm saving, obviously, for Christmas. But um, these lasted a long time, so if you can find these in your Walgreens on sale, like I said, I got this for $2.49, definitely snatch them up. They're worth it. Okay, two more candles. The next one is Mahogany Teak Wood. And this one, I mean, it, it was um, for summer, so the, the label's a little bit different than they are now. It's a masculine, musky smell, but it's a great smell. I wish I had this one in the bathroom and not in my bedroom, but it was a great smell. Refreshing blends of sandalwood and citrus with the highlights of cedar, oak, and essence of mahogany. Definitely try this if you can find it. I know they're still selling it, but the front's a little different. This is like a summery theme, and um, the new one, I think, is like a wicker-looking theme. But definitely get this one. It's good. One more candle, and this, again, I got on clearance as well. Um, I got this one from Target last year, and I paid $7 for it, and they're normally $10. $3 savings, not that much, but I got it because of the fragrance, and it was pumpkin, because Joey loves pumpkin. And this smells like a pumpkin muffin. It smells so good. Oh my gosh. Side note, go to Dunkin' Donuts and try their pumpkin muffin. That's all I'm going to say. It is really, really good. I normally like their pumpkin munchkins, but the muffin is... It's divine. That's all I'm going to say. But yes, um, it smells just like that muffin I just spoke to you about. Delicious. And I believe that they had this out this year as well. So, another pick. Next is more beautyish products. First thing I'm going to show you is Bath & Body Works Cherry Blossom Body Splash. I didn't purchase this. This was given to me by my brother's girlfriend. Um, she gave me a matching lotion, which I'm still working on. I like the smell. Would I go out and buy this myself? No. Um, there's other scents I like better than Cherry Blossom, but this was really refreshing. I kept it in my bag when I was at work, and when I go on my lunch, I would spray it and refresh myself with it, but it's a really nice scent. Um, maybe I would buy it again. I never really got... I used to have the Japanese Cherry Blossom lotion. I didn't like it, so I kept away from Cherry Blossom, but the spray was really nice. I enjoyed that one. Next, and this is probably one of my favorites... There's a little bit left, which i got to try to salvage. This is Dancing Waters. This is the Deep Cleansing Hand Soap. I love the smell of Dancing Waters. I really do. I think I have a pack back in this as well. I will definitely be repurchasing this. It's just a refreshing, great smell. I kept this one in my kitchen, and I love it. Love that one. Next is my Twilight Wood Spray. Joey got me this for Christmas. I finally used it up. Another, this is a take or leave scent. You either love Twilight Woods or you hate it. And this was a really nice one. Again, I use this at work as well. 
Next is a Lush item. I finally used up my Jilted Elf. I have one more to get through. Oh, I love the smell so much. And I'm sad to say I've seen the things for Christmas and they're not bringing it back. But they have a popcorn lip scrub, which looks interesting, and a facial scrub with actual popcorn in it. Um, that I'm not sure I'm going to get, but the lip scrub, definitely. Oh. I shall miss you, Mr. Jilted Elf. This was my favorite from last year. I have one more, and it expires in March of 2013, so I have enough, and I can make it last that long, so it'll be perfect. And then I had to say goodbye. But if you can find that on eBay, try it out. It smells just like the hottie bar, the massage bar. It's really good. Next thing I used up was my Hard Candy Lash Tinsel. And this color is in Starstruck. I love the color. It is empty, but you can see some. It's like this purple with all these different colors in it. And I put these tinsels, or the colored um, hard candies, on top of black mascara. It gives it that little pop extra. I really like that. Um, I don't do it all the time, but it's nice like to add a little something extra you might feel a little bit more glamorous and they're only like five dollars they're definitely worth the money and that's a big one considering some of them not all of them are that big and have that much product <clears throat> next we'll do this was a gift from it's so paul 15 and this was the volumizing shampoo the orange ginger Oh my god, I loved this stuff. It made my hair so soft and silky. A little sample, but it was really good. And I have lotions in this scent too, which I can't wait to use. Next is my Queen Helene Mud Pack Mask. I've used it up. You can see I, I squeezed every last drop out of this thing. I don't like this one as much as the Mint Julep Mask, but this one does have properties that are a little bit different. Um... Mud Pack Mask in the original Old Fashioned Time Tested Earth Facial Treatment with Imported English Clay that will work wonders for your skin. It's a very effective pore cleanser. It helps tighten loose sagging skin on your face and neck and relieves tired facial muscles to soften lines and wrinkles. Enjoy the Mud Pack Mask Facial as a pick-me-up when you feel tired when you're preparing to go out for the evening or preparing to go to bed. Your skin will have a clearer, smoother, youthful-looking complexion. I do like this one a lot. Um, the smell is a little bit on the musky side, but not as good as the Queen Helene um, Mint Julep. But like I said, this is like when you're feeling tired, your skin feels a little saggy. This stuff is nice. And I don't think I can get that anymore. I'll have to go on their website now because the place where I was buying it doesn't carry that anymore. Next is my Juicy Couture 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 Body Cream really nice and thick. I typically do not like their shower gels, like any designer shower gel, but I have a shower gel from them that I have to use still. I, I will let you know when I finally use it, but this stuff was really great, really thick and creamy. I have many good things to say about this. Um, I was told that the Couture Couture scent is being discontinued. I hope not because I like it, but it happens, but this one's good too. Next is my Paris Amour lotion. What's not to love about the Paris Amour? It's great. I have so much in the Paris Amour. I have a backup of this. I'm using the shower gel slash, um, I'm using it as a bubble bath as well. It's just a great smell. No matter how you look at it, Paris Amour is the way to go. I have yet to meet somebody who doesn't like it. Next is Aruba Coconut. Pure Coconut. Now, this isn't available anymore, but I'm sure you can find it online creamy coconut. So if you don't like coconut, you wouldn't like the Aruba, but I think it's great. And I have to, next time I go out, I need to get cuticle cream because my cuticles are dying and my old one was like bad and nasty. I had to get rid of it. Next are two packet backs. My first one that I used up was my peppermint patty, which smells just like a York peppermint patty. I like that a lot. Just like a York chocolate peppermint patty. This was great. This was from last year's Christmas line. Hopefully they'll have something similar to it this year. I was looking for it all Christmas season, and then towards the end I finally found it, and I picked up two, so I've used one of them. And the next one is Apple Lavender, which the scent sounds odd, but it's actually really good. I'm not sure if this one's still available. 
I bought it about a month or so ago. But again, another scent that the apple and the lavender actually work really well together. I really like this scent as well. So guys, that was the items I have used up this month. That's everything I've used up. Well, it's not that big, but I don't want to wait too long and have it be gigantic. So those are the items I used. Um, some love, some hate. I'm going to be doing a products I regret buying video as well. I'm not sure when I'm going to be filming that because I only have one or two items. So I want to have at least like at least four of them that I have come across that I'm not crazy about. So uh, it would be worth watching. Anyway, guys, um, thank you for watching this video. And thumbs up if you like. See you soon. Bye.